Hi, my name is John Buse. I'm from the University of North Carolina and I've been asked by IDOC to talk about hypoglycemia in the setting of type 2 diabetes. As you are un undoubtedly aware, uh, hypoglycemia is not quite the problem in type 2 diabetes as it is in type 1 diabetes where 30 to 60 percent of people will have a severe hypoglycemic reaction uh, every year or two in the setting of intensive management. In type 2 diabetes, the risk of severe hypoglycemia is more on the order of 2 to 3, maybe 4%, uh, even with, uh, with insulin therapy. So the risk of severe hypoglycemia is pretty modest in type 2 diabetes. That said, hypoglycemia is a discomforting side effect. Uh, the best way I've heard it described is it's a little bit like the feeling that you get when your wheels start to skid in ice. This feeling of being out of control and slightly panicked, patients hate it. It really feels very bad. And in the setting of type 2 diabetes, which is basically an asymptomatic condition where we're asking patients to do all kinds of things to prevent problems years down the line, they often are sort of struck by this this notion that their treatment is making them feel bad whereas the disease is just a potential threat for the future. Um, so I think it's very important to ask patients about hypoglycemia, what their experience of it is. Uh, is it something that, uh, that's really a major impediment to them adhering to their regimen? Um, and uh, it is something that you need to weigh with them as you're deciding on additional drug therapies. Um, the good news is in 2009, we now have about seven classes of drugs that are not associated with hypoglycemia. This is a major change from, uh, from just a few years ago when, for instance, in uh, 1994, when I first moved to North Carolina, we only had insulin and sulfonylureas. All drugs were associated with hypoglycemia. So I think it's something that uh, needs to be raised with patients, uh, needs to be considered in, um, in how you decide what agents to add in therapy, and certainly needs to be reviewed in patients that are treated with sulfonylureas and glenides and insulin, uh, where hypoglycemia can be a side effect and perhaps is part of what causes some patients not to achieve the A1C targets that you hope for, that maybe they're skimping on their medicines because of this hypoglycemic symptomatology. The other thing we don't know um, is whether hypoglycemia promotes any kind of long-term adverse consequence. Uh, some people have suggested it could precipitate angina and the like. I don't think that's really the important issue. I think the important issue is adherence and, uh, and also uh, some modest weight gain as a result of treating these hypoglycemic uh, episodes. Uh, so for IDOC, it's been a pleasure talking to you. This is John Buse.